TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, two hours left to go on the trading day. we got a relatively calm market out there with major, most of the major indices currently in the red. Russell 2000 right now will start it off completely flat, trading at 1519. we got the NASDAQ leading the way in negative territory off 29 points, trading at 7792. That's approaching four tenths percent in the negative. we got the S&Ps down about five points at 2880. We have the Dow off 50 points at 25,998. Both the S&P and the Dow down about two tenths percent. As we start things off, we'll take a look at the VIX this morning. There's your VIX 15 handle as this market pretty calm very low volatility premium in the market, 1596 as we speak. Jumping over the indices, we'll jump through the futures markets. We'll start it off with the S&P 500. And as you can see, all things considered, we've had about a 10 point trading range going back all the way to overnight. We reach a high just after the opening bell of 2889 in the S&Ps, or about nine points off that level, trading 2880. NASDAQ 100, the laggard of the group, we make a high right after the opening bell as well of 75.10. We're about 34 points below that level, trading 74.75. Dow 30, just above 26,000, looking at the June contract, we made a high right after the opening bell of 26,089, so about 90 points off the high. Gold contract with some volatility in both directions. Early, early this morning, about 5 a.m., we're up there at 13.42. You got gold trading at 13.36. Crude oil with some volatility around the EIA number this morning. We were trading at about 52.10 coming into that number. We're now trading at 51.65. And Euro US dollar seeing a bit of a pullback as we got the Euro trading under 113, trading at 112.94. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, a big data point this morning with CPI, consumer prices barely rising, pointing to very low inflation and then pointing to possible rate cuts. So that's how the market is responding. And another interesting story should not be a surprise if you've been following Facebook. Facebook falls following report that Zuckerberg emails link him to controversial privacy practices. Pretty remarkable that the market could be surprised that Mark Zuckerberg knows what's going on at all times in his company. Uh, but nonetheless, Facebook dropping on that report initially down about 2% at 174.65 as those privacy concerns keep marching on. Stay tuned, folks. We got Tom O'Brien coming up live from 3 till 5 as he wraps up this trading day. Stay tuned. Have a great Wednesday.